Welcome back. Uh, the ASX uh, Nifty is indicating a lower start. I mean, uh, lower than where we were at uh, 8 o'clock. 86 points lower, half a percent uh, down, 18,394. Uh, Sudarshan Sukhani and Mitesh Thakkar are with us with uh, technical trading ideas and how they would set things up. Uh, gentlemen, good morning. Good to have both of you here. Uh, Sudarshan, uh, your uh, first thoughts, uh, a lower start. Uh, yesterday, of course, we got a bit of a sell-off towards the end, but then the market pulled right back and we closed unchanged. Uh, what would you do this morning? Uh, good morning, Prashant. See, the markets are consolidating after that big gap up. This is normal. The markets expand in one direction, then they consolidate, and then I assume that they continue to expand in the same direction because the trend is up. So what we are only seeing is a period of consolidation. Think of it as a process in which the market actually has a small dip. Now, all dips for me are buying opportunities. So today's gap down is actually a buying opportunity. It doesn't mean you actually rush in when the market opens. Traders know how to manage a buying, uh, buying in a gap down. But be patient when you see a sense that the markets, the Nifty is getting stable. I think the trade is to go long and take advantage of that dip. Our stops should be around 18,250. And since we know a stop loss, it's worth going and taking a small risk and going and buying it. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Sudarshan. Morning. Uh, Mitesh, what about you? Oh, what, what's your view on the index? You're going to get a dip? Jump in? Uh, morning, Nigel. I think yesterday, you know, towards the uh, last hour, while we had some recovery, uh, the overall indicator setup is slightly uh, on the, you know, uh, overbought and mildly weakish side. So I think... Uh, I would watch the reaction once we hit 18,300, 18,250 zone. I think if that is holding, then we'll take a long there, but not with the opening gap. No? I think there, there, there could be slightly more depth than, you know, uh, the opening gap of around 40, 50 points. And I suspect around uh, 18,300, uh, 18,250, which is about 100 to about 130 points lower from here, that would be a good uh, or a better entry point. Can you tell us what your individual stock ideas are, Mitesh? Because there's been a big comeback in PSU banks, private sector banks as well. Uh, what would you like for trade today if you have to buy the dip? Yeah. So, uh, uh, today I think, you know, uh, I have a mix of buy and sell calls. A uh, couple of uh, defense names, HL is actually on the top of the list and it made a new high in the market, which is kind of uh, uh, losing uh, or, you know, getting sideways. HL is a buy with a stop at 2620 for a target of 2800. Glenmark is a buy with a stop at 422 for targets of 450. And a couple of calls on the selling side. Apollo Tire gave a fresh breakout, but then the breakout kind of seems to have failed. That's a sell with a stop at 282 for targets of 265. And India Bulls Housing Finance is a sell with a stop at 127.5 for targets of 114. Right. Uh, Sudarshan, what about you? What would your trading ideas be? Well, they're mainly on the, the mid caps uh, because the large caps uh, are likely to see a dip. And then we have to wait for some stability, easier to move where some momentum is there. Crompton is a buy. The stock is now bottoming out. That's the sign we get on charts. Stop loss is 358. Hero Motor Corp, which has come in my list earlier also, is completing a bullish head and shoulder, a fairly bullish pattern. Buy it with a stop under 2685. Jubilant Foods is my only intraday short. Intraday short with a stop above 565. It's uh, underperforming everything. Berger Paints is a buy. Again, this is a buy on dips opportunity. So we are taking a small risk in anticipation of a larger reward. Stop is under 602. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks a lot for that, uh, Sudarshan. Well, let's go back to 